This video is the continuation of the free energy principle which was related with the ferromagnetic or sometimes rotating magnetic field or sometimes skin effect they say. Recently I heard another term which says uh, the demagnetic deep magnetizing so I I suppose it's all the same so when the magnetic field is rotating inside the coil then then it's it makes the, the effect which is kind of the same as NMR nuclear magnetic resonance I cannot say 100% sure that it's the same as NMR but a lot of things are quite similar to NMR Therefore, I, I like to, um, to use the term, one more term from NMR, which is Lamor frequency. Uh, probably you need to find out what is Lamor frequency. The key point of Lamor frequency is the magnetic field. It's supposed to be static, but can be, uh, can be different. This magnetic field is proportional to the frequency. So in the NMR, as the, the magnetic field inside the, uh, inside the tube gets stronger, then the Lamor frequency, that's the rotating uh, frequency, uh, gets higher. Then if I uh, think in a different way, as the B field disappears, the Lamo frequency also goes to zero, which means static electricity. So uh, I think a lot of uh, free energy developers say static electricity is the case that when there is no B field, uh, which, is the, which is applied in the coil, when the B field disappears, then the static electric field appears. Then let's see the video and then uh, I will continue. It's kind of low frequency or nearly static field. It's about this. The, the high, uh, high voltage AC is generated here and then it's connected to here. And then that's here. And it's not connected to the push-pull, the, and then this is the bulb. So when, when the, the charge is accumulated here enough, then that charge it goes to the coil here and then uh, uh, enhances the current. And then when it's uh, all used, then disappears. So therefore, it's, a, it's, I, it's rather static charge. It's not rotating magnetic field here. Uh, there is only one doubt of this system, which is if this is connected to the earth or if it is connected to the input of this high voltage, then it may make this kind of uh, capacitive connection. That means through the AC, uh, it's accumulated. This is the aluminum foil. As, as we see, this is the aluminum foil. And when the aluminum foil accumulates enough charge, then discharge is here. And then discharge here, then in this case, it's nothing to do with uh, uh, NMR-like frequency. It's just an accumulation of charge. But I don't know whether this connection has this one so that it's just a capacitive connection. There is another, uh, another case when there is no Lamor frequency, uh, no Lamor frequency, and then so the... Uh, the, the the charge increases, a static charge increases. It's uh, uh, the experiment from Roman Corp. And uh, uh, 
This is the high voltage and then it receives and then it's going to it will go to the capacitor I'm gonna show and then as the frequency increases mm, okay now it's coming Okay, as the frequency increases, the, the accumulated charge increases. Okay, that's it. So, the other case is this, the static charge in the high voltage is coming to the, the cylinder and then it has connected to the, uh, the capacitor and then the DC voltage increases. So some people say it's a radiant energy is accumulated here. And this is the case that when there is no B field, uh, B field means that when there is no coil around, when there is no B field, then uh, static charge increases here. Of course, uh, this can be explained also in a normal scientific term. So, uh, because the structure is different. It's an AC high voltage, but the structure is here is a thin, here is a round. So this direction current flows better and then this direction current doesn't flow well, uh, doesn't make the spark well. So it, this direction current is accumulated in the, in the capacitor. Therefore, the, the voltage is going up. It could be interpreted like this way. And I'm going to another case. So uh, this one made a really interesting experiment. So putting putting the the capacitor inside a coil or some cylinder. It's accumulating here, so let me go to this case. In this case, the uh, the coil, or it could be this kind of cylinder just outside, and it it gives a high AC, and then this is the capacitor. I just simplify the uh, structural capacitor like this. So there is an accumulation of charge here, and when it's accumulated enough, then it uh, it turns on the light, but it takes time. Uh, this case is also when there is no B field. That means when uh, this one, this one is not making B field because it, it this side is just open, and then it's it's just making the capacitive. Uh, reaction and then uh, this one is transferred to here and then between here and the ground there is accumulation of charge and uh, it's also uh, can be considered as when the when there is no Lamor frequency uh, which means no B field extra B field is applied here actually in this case it could be considered uh, when there is a B field. It's a it's through the push pull is giving the current. So uh, this B field is making a little bit of uh, Lamo frequency, which could be slow because the B field is weak. So in this slow frequency, so the rotating magnetic field, and that. If that matches with this frequency, giving frequency, then it gives a lot of energy. That's what I uh, want to focus. And then, uh, so eventually, uh, I did a lot, lots of experiment with this scheme, which following the Akua or Ruslan. And uh, what I realized in this experiment. I cannot turn on the light, which is, they call it, inductor. I cannot turn on the light here, but I can turn on the light between this and this, which is uh, the grenade, they, what they call. 
So in this grenade, I can turn on the light, and then in this in, through this inductor, I cannot turn on the light when I don't give any uh, any extra uh, magnetic field here. Then if I think yes, there is a AC high voltage given given from the Tesla coil, and if I think oh yes, if it makes a capacitive connection like that. Of course, if I put the bulb like that, then it turns on the light really well. Or this one, uh, even to the grenade, if I don't connect here and then if I connect like that, then uh, it makes the capacitive connection like that and then turns on the light. That's nothing great. So what I realized this is it uh, this grenade is receiving somehow energy when there is no ground connection and when there is a high voltage AC is coming it makes some uh, potential here through uh, something like NMR like a principle and now this will be related with this one uh, uh, you may want to study about this principle as well, Zatsarinina, and uh, it's a um, it uh, it has a very strange structure. It's a, a cylinder, copper cylinder or some cylinder, and then this is a line. So any AC given between this cylinder will be transferred to the line. So if you think about it, uh, it's it's possible because there is a B field running like that. But uh, what whatever it is, uh, what comes as an AC signal up and down, uh, this direction, AC signal will make the voltage here. And the same, what what makes the the AC signal it's coming like that then will make some voltage inside a coil inside something running so uh, in the Kapanatsu style there is a wire going through like that or uh, or SR uh, he is also putting the line and then showing the free energy yes so AC is here and I I don't want to put the ground yet when the AC is here and AC high voltage AC is making this direction uh, energy and then that's making the light so I still uh, didn't get the clue how to put the ground and why it's like that but uh, following the, the ferromagnetic or NMR-like or rotating magnetic field, it should make this direction energy. And then I can confirm that this granite is, is somehow creating this energy, this direction energy. So with this clue, so I will find out what kind of oil to put and so on to create this energy. That's it.